we are happy to be here today on this wonderful day that the Lord has made to receive this beautiful donation from the STAR group, hmm? St. Lucia Toronto Aid Action Group, who have in the spirit of COVID and the spirit of giving, have remembered the people of St. Lucia particularly, persons in those homes that are caring for the elderly, especially the Marian home, the St. Lucy's home, and other homes like that. And today we are here at the Marian home to receive in the presence of Her Excellency Dame Paulette Louise, Governor General Emerita, who has been the liaison person with the Star Group of Canada, to receive those beautiful gifts of much needed supply for the Marian home and the St. Lucy's home. Your Excellency Dame Paulette, Thank you for this great initiative of allowing many persons to express their generosity in what we see here today. It is amazing how generous persons can be and how they can rise to the occasion when they are given the opportunity to. And so I can only think of the words of the song it only takes a spark to get a fire going, and soon all those around will warm up in its glowing. And so your thought, a simple thought, has been translated into action. And that's what we are here uh, witnessing this morning. I'd like to thank you for recognizing our need and for identifying these two institutions, the Marian Home for the Elderly and St. Lucy's Home, to be the recipient of your goodwill. But it would be remiss of me and of us if we did not acknowledge our friends in Toronto. And I want to mention especially Jeannie Beausoleil and her team, who worked tirelessly what we see here today is evidence of their hard work and effort in sourcing out all these items for us, much needed item. All those who were part of her team, those who gave of their time, those who packaged uh, the items, as, as well as those who provided transportation, we would like to thank all of them, many of them who contributed have no connection with this institution, but they knew that there is a need, especially during this COVID-19. And so I really want to thank you on behalf of our residents. And as you can see, some of them here from St. Lucy's home and the Marian home represent just a fraction of these two institutions. So on behalf of the board, the staff, and all those who work in collaboration with us, I'd like to thank you for such goodwill and good gesture. May God bless you, and may you continue to reach out to other institutions like you have reached out to us. I'm delighted at this, this morning to receive uh, a hefty donation of items, I call it, from the STAG, St. Lucia, Toronto, Action Aid Group of uh, Canada um, under the patronage of Dean Paulette Louise, our former Governor General. Um, St. Lucy's Home is a home for street and homeless people, and uh, we care for them at no cost to them and no discrimination. And so we rely to a very large extent on donations from friends, well wishers, donors etc. And we are always very happy, always delighted when we get gifts of such magnitude, of such quality to serve, to meet the needs of our residents of St. Lucie's Home. I really want to thank um, Jeannie Snack, that's how I know her, Jeannie Snack. She's communicated to me several times um, for the last couple of weeks. In particular, there was one that she called me about four or five times to find out to try and determine specifically what our needs were. And uh, 
we know that uh, Dame Paulette Luisi was one of the main coordinators. In fact, she was the one who cleared the items from the customs um, a few days ago and to ensure that we receive them. Well, we have them in our possession now and we are very happy and uh, the items will be used for the needs of our residents at St. Lucie's home and we really want to thank the sponsors, the donors, um, everybody who was involved and in particular I want to thank Jeannie for all of her efforts and Dean Pellet Rizzi. Thank you very much. And now we're going to invite the lady herself, the patron of the St. Lucia Toronto Aid Action Group, through whose influence and example, and also I guess she's one of those who encouraged that, um, that kind of process. And I was told that the, um, Stag has been doing that for about eight years now, huh? St. Lucia Toronto Aid Action Group has been helping St. Lucia with medical and other supplies for eight years. So we big up Stag, big up Jenny Bosley, and that, that kind of work. And we big up Dame Bullet, Luizzi, Governor General Emerita, for the wonderful work that you've done and continue to do. Eight years ago when I was invited to, to be patron of the St. Lucia Toronto Aid Action Group, I... Um, I thought, well, you know, I'm in St. Lucia, then Toronto, you know, how does this patronage thing work? But it has, it has gone, you know, down very well. And in fact, I, I was in, in Canada in, in March, just before St. Lucia, you know, sort of began to, to feel the effects of, of, of COVID. And um, I was in, you know, I did live, I mean, I was hosted by, by Jeannie. And so when we, when I came down and when the call went out nationally for, for assistance um, in these challenging COVID times, I thought, you know, let me, let me think of, of um, vulnerable people, particularly in our community, that STAG, you know, could, could help. And so I, I got in touch with her and, she, and, um, and they jumped, really jumped at the occasion. And, you know, in particular, um, I want to uh, well. I want, just want to say that I am patron of the fundraising, the major fundraising activities of both of these two institutions. And unfortunately, the Saturday before Marion Home had the, supposed to have the poverty meal, it had to be cancelled. You know, and Saint Lucy's Home coming up in November again with all this social distancing. I doubt that we'll be able to, to galvanize and mobilize the numbers that would normally, you know, have patronized the event. So it was with this in mind that I thought to start with these two institutions could be the ones, you know, that could benefit from, from Stag's generosity. So I, I just want to say that I'm so pleased that this has come to that fruition. Um, Sylvester has called it uh, a, a hefty um, donation, a thing of that quality and that magnitude, um, sentiments that have also been expressed by Sister Annie. And I just want the people in, not only in Toronto, but the, in, in the, the diaspora in, um, in, in the U.S. and as far north, if you want to say, as, as the U.K., who did respond to the call, sent in their donations. The, the combined um, cost of, of, the, of the shipments for the two would um, is in the region of over 20,000 EC dollars. So the, it has really been you know, an effort. And that is just for the, the materials, but there's also the time, the labor, if you notice, I mean, well, well packaged, it's what's written on it, there's a list and all that. So there, so you know, people have worked hard and I want to express my own thanks, my personal thanks, but also the thanks of the two institutions who've been the beneficiaries of this wonderful gift. In addition, I would like to, of course, I thank STAG for, for responding to my uh, request. I would like to, to thank Mr. Ken Shitoli, um, uh, a St. Lucian who has a, you know, a shipping agency in, in Canada. And he, and he assisted by you know, um, sending these um, two free skids free of cost. So, 
So, Mr. Chitoli, thank you so very much. And uh, on the, the local front, I want to thank the Office of the Diaspora and especially the Ambassador, Ambassador Joyce Lynn Fletcher, for her assistance in facilitating um, the, the St. Lucia end. Um, she did put me in touch with the St. Lucia SSDF, the St. Lucia Social Development Fund, and in fact, they were the ones who did the brokerage and the transporting to the, you know, to the two homes. So thank, thanks to everybody, and I hope um, this, this will go some way, sister told me, is a long way, you know, to alleviating the, the problems that, that of course, um, would normally have, have um, challenged the two homes, but particularly and specifically so in these challenging COVID times. So all the best to everybody. Um, Stag, maybe we can do that again <laughs> at some point. I think that has been put in my air this morning, you know, and you heard Sylvester saying, oh, maybe around this time next year, but we'll see. <laughs> so thank you very much and thank you everybody and St. Lucians who, who supported as well, thank you. So once again, we want to thank this laudable effort. This is a combination of St. Lucians local and in the diaspora, hmm? symbolized by people like Jenny Bosley in Canada and Ken Chitoli with his shipping. It just shows how hands can clap together so that we could do a wonderful thing for the people of St. Lucia. So on behalf of the vulnerable, on behalf of the poor, the elderly, those in St. Lucia whom we are trying to care for, we want to say a big thank you to St. Lucians all over, St. Lucians here, and to God be the glory. Amen.